Hi everyone, Lazy Fire here, and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Today we're going to be playing for Frank uh, as Frank Woods, which is different and new. Uh, but we're also going to be doing a bit of a different build as well. Uh, Radin Torov actually won the voting uh, pretty quickly, actually. I was kind of impressed. And he decided that we needed to have an RPG, so there's no attachments for that. And we needed to have a Makarov, which is actually a pistol. And it's among the pistols, it's not really that great. And, of course, we have suppressor and extended bags. We're having a Semtex and a concussion grenade. I really gotta... Actually, let's do it this way. Now, what it turns out is that you have to select the first one you want in your first slot, the right bumper slot, first. It doesn't really make sense at times, but it works. And the access kit is going to be joined by Climber, of all things, and Fast Hands. Now, Climber is an interesting perk. It just lets you move faster while you mantle, so you jump over things a little quicker. Uh, it's not really great or super useful, but we're going to have to run with it. And we're pretty much set to go. There's just going to be a pretty long introduction here, lots of backstory. And I'll see you on the other side of that. Commander Mason for Sergeant Woods. I got you, kid. You're okay. Well, it took you so long, so I think you weren't gonna make it. What the fuck was I doing there? The dead don't suffer. That's why you and I are still here. You suffer with me. Got a plan for you, kid. He's been working it for 30 years, and he is counting on you coming after him. Wait a minute. Frank, do you have intel? Remember that pendant? Disappeared. What do you think? They sprouted legs and walked away? This guy, he knows every angle, every move you're gonna make. He's gonna take out 20 or 30 man people. And... As if that's gonna bring her back. It's about his sister. He killed my father. To get to you. There's a clean shot with that guy. Hey! What the fuck happened in Panama? I was pretty sure we got him in Nicaragua. About a year later, he shows up in Panama with that piece of shit Noriega. That's the last straw for the CIA. The orders come down from George H.W. for a snatch and grab. So your dad and I, we go in. What a shit show. Mason. Woods. Good to see you, Frank. You too, Alex. She's so fucking pissed. Family. I thought this was about tomorrow. It's about everything, Mark. I need something more in my life besides sitting around waiting to see what godforsaken country you're gonna move us to next. Come on, Frank. Not enough, Mark. Not enough. Hey, guys. Hey, McKnight. Got the stuff? Yeah. Grab the sports bag in the shed. Wife doesn't seem too happy. You didn't tell her about the invasion, did you? No. Seems like I'm the only one who didn't. Shared it from Jacob's wife, and Steve's, and Bill's. Can you imagine how that made me look? Why the fuck aren't we killing this guy? Huh? With all this shit he pulled in Nicaragua? Eh, well, higher ups are sick of his scheming, but they want him alive. Yeah. This shit don't sound right. Okay. Manuel Noriega. Airforce known as Objective False Prophet. It's a standard grab and smear operation. Destroy his public reputation and minimize the chance of any uprisings in his name. The invasion will draw attention away as we go in with Navy SEALs. Well, then we're all set. Yep. Come on, I'll walk you guys out. Thanks for the beer, McKnight.
I took the liberty of looking over some of your old case files. All that shit with the numbers. You really get brainwashed by the Soviets? And they gave it the best shot. Just kids with night, they ain't worth it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Welcome to Panama, guys. The mission was good. Planning good. The only piece that didn't fit was Hudson on the comm lake running the show. Just felt off, even on the way in. Like, I felt it. You know, it was gnawing at me. I just... I just didn't look at it. Hudson, it's Mason. The bombing's begun ahead of schedule. Someone you want to tell us? Then check us out. Hudson, do you copy? No response. Continue his plan. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Central HQ to prevent false prophets' escape. I'll provide Overwatch for Building 12 off the battle map. Didn't Hudson nix that plan? If you did, you didn't tell me. Good luck, Mason. McKnight out. Take him what's Okay, so <laughs> that RPG uh, <laughs> pulling out kind of got me there. Yeah, you can't stop that flare. It's all scripted. So that means first fight. Enjoy. Damn, this thing has range on it. I forgot. Alright, so... This is gonna go real poorly. Oh, I feel it now. Alright, so I'm gonna switch over to the macro for a moment. Shit. Okay. Macro is a nice little pistol. Uh, it's not really anything special. And faced against people with automatic weapons, even extended mags won't make it really great. But, you know... This is what I committed myself to. What's going to happen here is we're going to have pretty litigious use of our concussion and semtex. Let's show something off here. You can stick people with semtex. I really suggest it. It's kind of a lot of fun. Alright. But I do get a lot more RPG ammo than I would normally get, so that's always good news. So let's make use of some of these rockets. The RPG does not fly straight. Uh, not all the time, anyways which makes it very difficult to hit distant targets. And because pistols have such a high damage drop-off in this game, pistols aren't really great for that distance either. Uh, but we got through our first section pretty okay. Just missing most of my ammo. And I've got... Yeah. I'm in position on building 10. We have PDF units posted all over the airfield. Golf is walking into a trap. I've tried to warn him, but comms are bugging out. What about false profit? Waiting Hudson's go. The CIA is watching his every move. Don't think he's going very far. These are used to distract enemies. Not really great. Uh, those are our guys. Ready to assist. Request these fires will clear. Okay. Oof. Missed. I got you covered. Focus on supporting the seals. <laughs> uh, this is going bad. So you can see this is uh oof. check your fire. We are entering through the skylight. Alright. And see, that's what mantling does for me. Really not useful. <laughs> oh well. Alright. So let's try this. Yeah, see? Did a whole lot. Let's try this one. <laughs> yeah, I did want to use the RPG for this map because it's available now, but uh, I wasn't expecting to have to pair it with a pistol. Now, I have said in the past that I would, you know, in my own defense, that I would switch over to other weapons I found on the ground. Uh, if the situation arose that I needed to. And if I run out of ammo here, that's pretty much when I'm going to switch over. Uh, but there are ammo crates in this map, and there is a break in, a map, in the map where I believe it gives you more ammo. 
so we're okay. Also, Flak Jacket. I love this thing. I really do wish it was just a perk in the game. Um, but it's not, unfortunately. So, now we're down to two RPGs. So, and walked over Browning. Alright. Hello. Probably could have stabbed him. Uh, but we're kind of, we're moving pretty quickly here. I usually don't get this far in this map this quickly. Um, oh, hey. Here's intelligence. And I completely... Uh, Jetpack Jesus mentions what it looks like and uh, in the thread, and I completely forgot. Ah, hit it with an RPG. Can't... Nope. <laughs> I can do this. There it goes. Good deal. And if you look, uh, you may have noticed this in the past, but every now and again, there are going to be ammo crates, uh, or little boxes here, of the weapon that you started off the game with, or the level with. And so that means I have a little bit more RPG ammo. <laughs> yeah, a direct hit. <laughs> Definitely what was needed to be done there. Okay. The safest place to be is this end spawn. We have confirmation on location of false prophet. Adelina Hotel, room 225, move to secure. Hudson out. <laughs> so, yep, doing the Lord's work. I'm down to nine extra bullets. I'm hoping some of these guys have macros. Uh, no luck. So we're almost out of ammo here on both weapons. Ugh. There is a perk called ammo, uh, pick up ammo or something, ammo pickup, uh, that you can get, but, uh, it's not available to me yet. Multiple targets outside the hotel. So McKnight is our sniper, he's our sniper cover here. And if you're wondering if this was a real thing that we're participating in, it was. Operation False Prophet captured Manuel Noriega and tried to disrupt his reputation in 1989. So, this has a historical basis similar to other Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 missions. Alright, and dead civilian, why not? So with that, we should actually be kinda okay for a few minutes. Um, I've never actually explored these hotel rooms, so I'm just checking them now. Alright, got a little bit of a sequence here. Ready, Woods? Let's do it. Give me a reason to blow your head off. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Sealing your reputation. This is not a deal. Call your boss. Put your ass in a chair. Hudson, it's Mason. Go ahead, Mason. Close profit secure. Moving to extract. No, negative. Stand by for new tasking. Objective false profit has intel on a priority Nexus target. Escort him as PC to alternate location for prisoner exchange. More to follow. Precious cargo, my ass. Nexus target? Who's more important than this asshole? Yeah, I don't like it either, but let's just get this done. We're burning too much time. He even has people in the Fucking CIA. Fucking <laughs> Remember what he said in Afghanistan? What about the CIA memo in Menendez's compound? There's something else going on here, Woods. The mission was snatch and grab. The fucking Hudson gets on the radio. Says that Noriega is not the mission. It's a handoff. It's a prisoner swap. And right fucking then I should have known. Like right then and there. I should have known right then and there. Like what the fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck? Just take it easy, man. Just take it easy. Hudson. I should have smoked him and Nam. Bastards don't treat civvies any better than in Nicaragua. They're amped out of their minds on drugs. Take him down. I'll keep the garbage in check. <laughs> 
Yeah, that would have been a good moment. Come on, you sick fucking bastards! Now, for whatever reason, because they're amped up on PCP, uh, it, a couple shots won't kill them. Come on, you sick fucking bastards! Crush us, enemigos! What at the Yankee? Yeah, knives really work best here. Uh, there you have Browning high power. Your home. Stay inside. Mason, do you still have the precious cargo? Affirmative. Proceed to the army checkpoint beyond the slums. You'll be directed to the Nexus prisoner exchange site. The slums are a war zone. I must be allowed to protect myself, eh? Huh? Give me a weapon. Give him what he wants, Mason. That's an order. Hudson out. Damn it. What are you doing? You asked for a weapon. You didn't say anything about ammo. Better for all of us that no one recognizes you. Now, move! Yeah, Mason's, uh, Mason's a dick. <laughs> all right. So, this is not an escort mission, believe it or not. You're in the lead, but you're not really US responsible for keeping him alive. Invasion's in full swing. So this is uh, one of the few missions where we're really well accompanied, is the way to put it, I guess. Uh, you know, it's... Oh, my dog has decided to start howling. I'm hoping you guys don't have to hear that. So... This is one of the few missions where you have a lot of accompaniment, uh, because the Black Ops series, unlike the Modern Warfare series, is a lot more about, ooh, that's a good stick. Uh, it, it's more about small forces doing things, rather than the large forces, and, oh man, this is gonna be a... I think I got him! Nice. The pistols are very hard to shoot a, at a distance a lot of the time, uh, because the... As you can see, Jesus Christ. Stay in cover! Oh yeah, thanks. The uh, the pistols don't have the greatest iron sights, and they have no zoom when you aim down sights. So you're basically just looking. There's no real change between your hip fire and your uh, and your aim down sight, except for the accuracy bonus. All right, let's get that guy off the roof. They're down. Move up. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I'm almost out of ammo after just one real fight area. Let's get inside. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna have to switch to RPGs. I do have flag jacket, so I can probably take a couple of these things in the face. Now, this is another area of the level where you can actually go a couple different ways. If you go straight ahead, uh, that's kind of suicide. So going around to, the, around to the side and refilling my ammo, so now I have 200 rounds, which really would have been a useful start rather than uh, something I could pick up. Uh, the game, if you watch other videos, I start off with like 300 rounds of stuff at a time until I get to this level where I start off with really low amounts. Uh, pistols are not meant to be primaries as it turns out in this game. Oh boy. I'm just... Barely surviving some of these things. Oh, you got hit with a rocket. And I tagged him. Nice. I'm way better at this game than I thought I was. Alright, pop this open. And we can get some nice things from this dead guy. Yes. And that's the Treyarch symbol on this uh, uh, thing here. Now the strobe grenade is great for a couple specific sections up ahead. If you don't have this, you can definitely do the level. It's not that difficult to do it, but it's very, very useful to have these things. All right, we're gonna go refill our ammo one more time. You saw I didn't kill too many people there, but I still lost a lot of ammo. All right, so let's show off the strobe. And I've marked that building. Odin one two, confirming fire request on strobe position. And here it comes. Yes, very useful. And, get out of here. If you watch the bottom right, I get the refills on this thing. 
So, really, it's worth sticking near this uh, ammo crate for a bit and just clearing out what you can. Uh, especially if you have a pistol and a rocket launcher. At that point, you almost need to. And like I said, there's multiple pathways, so I could have gone down any of these alleyways or anything like that. Alright, let's get rid of this building. And there's limited building destruction in this game. Whoa. But, in the end, most of them don't go down. Only scripted building destruction, realistically. But you can see, I'm just... I'm motoring through here. Oops, sorry about that headshot. Alright, let's, uh, let's use a Nightingale. Congratulations on being on fire, my friend. It's similar to the, uh... There is a decoy grenade in Call of Duty Black Ops 1. And that's similar to what the Nightingale actually is. Oops, that might have been Mason. No, that was Noriega. Once you hit certain areas and there's certain numbers of people killed, uh, they'll just run ahead. So we got a breach section here. Did he go out like a soldier? Don't you tell me that fat fucking slob took him out. Don't you tell me that. You didn't go down like that, kid. There he goes, a puppet. Well, just puppets. Let's place that fucking mess. Okay, no, we do not want the RPG right now. Raid. Hudson's Mason. And they've taken away my ammo this time. Just a couple more blocks. Hudson. Damn it. I don't know what the hell is going on with Comswoods. Don't sweat it, Mason. Tess are we screwing up. Shh, do you hear that? Alright, this is a pretty heavily scripted sequence up ahead. I can't believe they took away my ammo. He's hurt bad, Mason. <laughs> So I have trouble with this section of the map, uh, oh, about every time I play it, uh, even when I have full ammo, so, because of these guys. Huh, well, it looks like stabbing works. Um, that's some scripting. Alright. Hi. Mason got a guy. It's good for him. Alright, so, we have to go catch up to Noriega. I'm just checking to make sure that sort of shit doesn't happen. Oh, you gotta get after him! I knew we were giving that son of a bitch too much for you. Alright, run, run, run. Our guys are gonna start firing on us now. We got a man down. Get a medic! Holy shit! Where'd he come from? Help! Up there! Yeah, you can let him die, but you'll fail the mission. And you'll probably also notice that before this happened, there was the uh, section where oh, you don't even fucking breathe. Oh, oh. Let me say it's okay. Mason and Krishenko, or uh, Mason and Woods mentioned the Krishenko and the documents they found. Uh, that otherwise, that doesn't happen. So, not really anything impressive. We've already been. Move, gunship strike. Hey, we got one of those. So, yep, you just have to run at the end. You can, of course, miss the jump like I do. You can't see anything because you're getting shot a bunch, and you can't really run because the, uh, earlier this time, in hopes that I'll actually jump. Yay! Oh my god. Three tries to do that. That's ridiculous. Usually I die in the section before that, not there. Good! Can't wait for this asshole someone else's problem! Alright. I think Mason's reaction is just yes. Okay. Mason! Hudson! Where the hell have you been? Are you at the checkpoint? Sirs, your transportation is ready. This way, sir. Do you still have the precious cargo? Yes! Who the hell is Nexus' target? 
What's more important than objective false prophet? You have to trust me, Mason. You have to. Hudson out. I may have questioned orders, but I never questioned motives. You take care of your unit, you get your guys home safe! Roger that, Frank. That's not how it is. Janikin, that's fucked. I'm a soldier. I take orders, and I get shit done. Woods, your position. They're moving to the roof of the south building. Fucking comms! Okay. Please wait. Everything is ready. We're gonna find our nexus target here. And like I said, heavily scripted stuff here. Where'd he get ammo? No one must know I betrayed him. Him? Hudson, who is Nexus target? Uh, it's the Barrett. Hudson. It's him, Woods. Nexus target is Raul Menendez. You should have told us, Hudson. You should have told us. We are ready. Bring him out. They're bringing the son of a bitch out. Confirm visual. He even has people in the CIA. <laughs> End this now, Woods. Okay, so... Headshot. If you're dumb, you probably haven't figured out what's happening here. Uh... That is a direct order! Okay. If you wait long enough, something bad happens, or something's supposed to happen. But you guys said we gotta torture this person, so... Shoot him in the fucking head! No. Oh. Um, there we go. Tortured. What are you looking so smug about? The fuck is going on? What's going on here? No, 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 no. Mason! You bastard! Menendez! Your best friend, Alex Mason, is dead. By your own hand. Do you understand why? He was gonna kill David. Because you must suffer, as I have suffered. Now one more must die. You, Woods, or David. Make a decision now, or in ten seconds you're all dead. Woods, I can't. I have two kids. They... Fuck! Okay, me! Do it! Do it! Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. 
Then and only then will you understand what you have done to me. I will not kill you, boy. Not like Woods. You will suffer with me. And then one day, you will see this pendant again. Hmm? And you will remember everything you saw and felt tonight. You will remember all the years of anger and pain. And when you do, David, please, come to me. There's nothing you could have done, Frank. It wasn't your fault. Me and your old man. We were the best. And we still couldn't stop him. The times have changed, old man. He's going down. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.